Nah, man, carbon dioxide is not gonna work. Okay, we've poured it in. Now we gotta act fast. Hey there, fellows. So we've prepared a fun little experiment for this video that is going to involve buckets. Anyway, I've been reading the comments again and, well, we've run engines on all sorts of different fluids, and this time people are asking we try lithium okay, grease. poured it in, and so I've gone now out we to buy act some. fast. While I was at it, I got a metal bucket. We got a nice little cooker and a gauge to measure the oil pressure inside the engine. Here's what I suggest we do. We're gonna load the grease into the bucket and proceed to heat it. As I'm sure you all know, this isn't a high-temperature lubricant, and it gets runny when you put heat into it. Which is why lithium grease wouldn't be your best option for areas where you've got high revs and temperatures. Unlike certain synthetic lubricants, this turns into liquid after a certain point and drips right out. It also attracts a lot of dust, but I digress. Once we pour it in, I'm hitting the road hard. We'll read the pressure, find out if the engine is even able to run, and see if the thermal energy yield is enough to keep it from getting too thick. Okay, let's melt it, pour it in, and do some testing. I expect the engine to give up. All right, let's do this. We've got a special merch offer for you, fellas, to brighten the mood in these turbulent times. Starting today, we'll be offering a mystery gift box. When purchasing the box, you're guaranteed to receive a certain selection of stuff from our shop, as well as the chance to win something big. You spend a fixed $30 price for the box, and you're guaranteed to receive a Garage 54 mug, a pair of socks, a sticker, an air freshener for your car, as well as a key fob. One out of ten buyers will be sent an expensive gift on top of that, which could be a cap, t-shirt, hoodie, or a document holder. So we'll be putting something expensive into one out of every ten boxes. If you'd like to support our channel and try your luck, there's gonna be a link in the video description. What happens when you run an engine on grease? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, this has gotten interesting. While the bucket was on the cooker, the grease did begin to liquefy and melt, but at a certain point the process came to a halt. The cooker wasn't generating enough heat. So instead we've decided to hang the bucket and whip out a torch. And now we're really getting somewhere. I mean, obviously that torch is gonna create way more heat. Anyway, so in the meantime, there's the matter of getting the engine ready. That'll involve warming it up to operating temp and draining the oil while it's nice and hot. At which point we immediately pour this in, because it starts to get thick soon after you stop heating it. I mean to say it goes back to its baseline state. Right, so this is almost done, let's go start the car. We've hooked up a manometer, everything is good. Now it's time to start the engine and see... What, it won't start? Yes, of course. How's the oil pressure? As per usual in a lot of there's pretty much no oil pressure. It's literally zero at idle. Only when you really crank up the revs does it get to about two and a half bar. It would have been perfectly fine and acceptable if we saw this much at lower revs, but as it is, it's a sad situation. Why'd you turn it off? We're warming it up, dude. Now, since lithium grease gets thick so fast, we want the engine to be really hot, and we might even want to overheat it slightly. So we warm it up, drain the oil, immediately pour in the lithium grease, and start the engine right away. In order to prevent the grease from prematurely reverting to its sour cream jelly form. No, it's definitely thicker than sour cream. So, 
Okay, so it seems like we're destined to fail with this one. So if I measure the temperature of the melted grease, well, look. 190 degrees Celsius. The engine simply isn't going to get that hot. But hey, this is an experiment after all. Let's make it worthwhile. Maybe you shouldn't stir it. I can literally see it starting to get thick. How do we even pour it in quick enough? That might be a problem. We need to put some more heat into it. And it's about time to drop the oil. Nah, man, carbon dioxide is not going to work. Okay, we've poured it in. Now we gotta act fast. Okay, so the pressure... Well, I am seeing something. That's nice. But it is a really tiny number. Because it's liquefied, it'll increase. So as far as I can tell, the pressure is no longer increasing. Yeah, it's at zero. What do I do? Let me have a look at the dipstick. Oh my, what's this now? That's a bit of thick grease. Yeah, this is no longer liquefied. It reverted to its original form in the oil pan. And that's why we have no pressure. Because the pump is unable to push it through. That's unfortunate. This could easily result in the engine dying. The pressure is at zero. And it's not going up even a tiny bit. And we're overheating. Come on, start. Doesn't want to. Time to switch on the fan. The fan is on, we're looking good. The engine should cool down in no time. I think it's a couple of minutes away from dying. There's no lubrication happening, no heat exchange, and so it'll inevitably overheat. That'll result in increased friction, and really the only way this could end is with the motor seizing. Now, I don't really see the point in taking it that far. So I say screw it. Let's get the car inside and try to find a way. But then what other way is there aside from removing the oil pan I mean, we could pull the block out, hang it over a fire, and let the lithium grease drip out. But no, we're definitely not doing that. Instead, I suggest we pour in some oil. And I do think that there's the off chance... Yeah, you know what? We will need to remove the pan and at least clean out the oil pickup. There wasn't all that much pressure inside the system, so perhaps we will be able to flush the engine. We'll see about that in just a bit. What's interesting is that with such a thick lubricant, 
There is no smoke coming from the exhaust. You remember how bad it was back in the garage? To the point where you could barely even breathe next to it. And you couldn't see anything. But now, I mean, look. It used to smoke like a locomotive even at such low engine speed. But now it is a completely different story. And the engine is still running, it hasn't even seized yet. We've removed the pan, and what do we see? There's the lithium grease we poured in, and it has reverted to its original thick form that the oil pump was obviously unable to push through. But while it was still hot, it was circulating and it even got into the filter. While it was liquefied, it found its way all around the engine, but at some point it cooled down, and we're seeing what we're seeing. There's the oil pickup. We're seeing the same thing up here. Nope, oh, fell a bit short. Eh, whatever. The crank, webbing, the inside of the engine block. Everything is covered in grease. As for the rods, well, they're dry since they were getting really hot. To the point where the grease was even burning. Because I don't believe it wasn't making it in there. It had to have been. It just burned away. That would have resulted in the engine running with almost no lubrication on whatever residual film was left on the bearings and crankshaft. Another spot that's worth examining is the oil filter location. The channels that are supposed to be there are basically non-existent. Right, why don't we tear all of this apart, do a cleanup, put it all back together, pour in a bit of oil and find out whether this engine has any life left in it. Why don't you pause the video and tell us what you think is gonna happen? Okay, so far things are going well. We've replaced the filter, poured in some fresh oil, we've hooked up the manometer. Can someone come over here with a camera, please? Anyway, let's try starting it. See whether the pump can get the oil flowing. We've cleaned out the oil pickup, the galleries. What's wrong? What? Oh, okay. Come on, give it some gas. The needle is starting to move. We have a bit of oil pressure. This is kind of frightening. But I am seeing something. It's even a bit higher than it was before. Which shouldn't be a surprise, I guess, because I'm pretty sure the oil has started washing the grease out and is mixing with it and getting thicker in the process. So I'd imagine right now it's getting thicker and thicker, and that's what's giving us a slight increase in the pressure. It used to be two and a half bar, but now it's a bit higher than that. Okay, so apparently we didn't even really kill the engine. That's good. The pump is doing its thing. I think we need to warm it up now. Go ahead and give it a bit of gas, Vlad.
The pressure has increased by about this much. Okay, now let's see what happens when we get it warm. I'm especially curious to see what sort of condition the motor oil is going to be in. Oh, you don't want to wait? Okay, leave it off for now. Let me just get the dipstick. Yeah, it'll be a while before it starts dripping. You know what, why don't we remove the oil filter? And while we're at it, we might as well replace it too. Because I suspect that... Whatever grease was washed out might have clogged this one. How do I even show this to you? The oil has definitely become thicker, and it's got a sort of mott look to it. The lithium grease has been... well, I mean, it's still being washed out, and the oil looks pretty thick to me. Look at it trickling down the filter and hesitating to drip. There's your increase in pressure. It's all because of the thick oil. Spare us your life hacks, dude! <laughs> With lithium grease. Okay, let's take this nice, fresh, big lot of filter. I expect to see a healthy pressure reading. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect. <laughs> Nothing seems to have changed. Smash the gas. Wow, when he gives it the beans... I see a pretty significant increase in the pressure. That's lithium grease for you. Holy cow, man. Now, when we brought the car in before, after stabbing the throttle a couple of times, we couldn't see anything in here. And though it is still smoking, it is not nearly as bad. Because the oil is so much thicker. This actually seems like a neat little trick. Instead of using like a metal conditioner, just add some lithium grease and you'll be good. We're looking at a 107% success rate here. We were able to pour some grease into the engine after all. We ran it for a bit, it didn't go well, and that's all I got for you. You guys watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.